Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. I don't know about you, but I'm excited for all the candy this Halloween. Man, I love my peanut butter cups. But after this sugar rush, I always want something more savory. With all these people trick-or-treating, what would happen if you ate, oh, I don't know, human brains? I obviously don't approve of this by any means, but let's explore it anyway in the spooky spirit of Halloween. To figure out what happens when you eat people and their brains, let's take a look at the Forage Tribe of Papua New Guinea. Up to as late as the 1960s, the Forage Tribe consumed their dead as a funeral ritual. They stopped because in a strange twist of fate, scientists found that when they ate human brains, they could contract a disease known as Kuru, which would feast on their brains. Kuru is a transmissible spongiform encephalopathy disease defined by bent and misshapen proteins or prions in your brain that degrade neurological function. They wreak havoc on the gray matter of the brain, leaving it looking like a deformed sponge. You could say this is no laughing matter, but it actually is because its symptoms include random bursts of laughter, along with tremors and severe headaches in the earlier stages of the disease. The incubation period can last anywhere from a few years to as many as 60, but once it starts, a person only has a few years to live. What about eating other parts of the human body, though? As a whole, a grown man totals a little over 80,000 calories according to a recent study. That is quite a lot of protein and fat. It seems far more reasonable to just eat an arm or an organ. Wow, did I really just say that? Anyway, an arm would be about 1,800 calories, while the average human heart has about 720 calories. So, if a cutie steals your heart this Halloween, tell them they owe you a few Snickers bars from their candy haul. You know, to make up for it. While there hasn't really been any diseases associated with eating other parts of the body, it's not the best nutritional idea because of all the saturated fat you would get if your diet was primarily human red meat. The American Heart Association recommends about 5% of your daily calories come from saturated fat, so you should probably stay away from human, or fatty meats in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Tell those zombies they'd be better off eating something other than your brains, and let us know in the comment section below what we should talk about next. We're currently taking suggestions for future videos. Videos. If you only eat human flesh, you definitely won't get the nutrients you need. If you want to learn why you can't just eat the same thing every day, check out this video. If you had steak for every meal of every day, well besides the cash in your wallet quickly dwindling down to nothing, your body will start eating its own fat and muscles because now you aren't getting any glucose from carbs. Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.